we come to the back of the camera and we start here with the, the remote for the deck which allows me to do complete deck control, uh, playback, I can start recording here, um, I can come in and do the settings, it's going to show me here the time code, the 16 channels of audio that could potentially be playing back, um, and really just complete deck control here remotely. There are longer cables available if you're going to be uh, away from the camera dealing with that and let the operator just deal with the image. Uh, this also gives you a tally on the back and also power tally as well and there's independent uh, deck power here also just to turn that on and off. And then if we move around again uh, you can see the uh, the deck interface here which gives us time code, um, level control for the earphones and then uh, it gives us two XLR inputs here, uh, three pin XLR uh, giving us phantom power, a mic input level and, and line input level. On, and also the plug here for the deck controller on the back. Um, eventually you will be able to tether the recorder remotely on the camera. Currently uh, it can only be used on the back of the camera but again uh, this is the first shipment of this camera in the US so things will be uh, coming out months and months into the future. Um, and then on the camera interface here you see we have Genlock in we actually have a shutter sync. Since we have a mechanical shutter, we want to be able to sync multiple camera shutters together so they're all spinning in unison. Uh, we have an HD uh, luminance uh, component output signal. And then we have a, a monitor out, SDI out here, which is giving us a, a 422 image. And a, a second one up here. Um, and then also a remote, uh, remote here for any RMB uh, paint boxes or, or what have you for independent control. Um, up here we have two uh, USB uh, in interfaces for um, for hosting or, or updating and, and, and other kind of options that Sony will be releasing down the line. And then uh, if we move down to the bottom or even in the middle here, I'll mention these mounting points here. So we'll have some accessory plates to mount various accessories. Uh, if you had a wireless controller or some kind of uh, receiver uh, or audio panel that you wanted to install on the camera, that could go here. And then below that, we have a, a Fisher 11 12 volt output, a Fisher 3 24 volt output, a Hiroshi 12 lens port, and then an external um, in and out uh, Limo 5 for time code, uh, jamming, syncing, and what have you. Um, up here we have the, uh, the focus hook. And uh, again, if I were to flip the camera over, there's a mark on this side and also here to show you where, how far back the sensor really is. Uh, and it's just behind this protrusion here, which again houses the ND filters and the, uh, the mechanical shutter. The top view of the camera, you really see again the, the SR digital card control here. Uh, these screws actually attach the SR R4 recorder onto the camera. You have multiple mounting pins up here for uh, accessories, monitors, cine tapes, and what have you. And then you have two carbon fiber 19 millimeter uh, rods coming out the front, which is currently hosting our viewfinder bracket, but then you could also um, I'm sure hang a multiple of other things that we'll find we want to hang from the top of this camera. So that's it, Sony's F65 in a nutshell. We're excited to offer this from Adorama Rentals. We'll have our prices up on the website soon, so please call for availability. Thanks.